Barbara Jordan, you mentioned Barbara Jordan. Yes. Tell me about Barbara Jordan. Oh, well, uh, Barbara was someone that I knew. Uh, we both went to the legislature at the same time. And she was a really a very kind person and a wonderful person, a very bright person, obviously. Everyone knows that. She was brilliant. No-nonsense person. Also, not a person who really communicated with a lot of women. <laughs> but the two of us became friends. And um, I guess we had parallel kind of careers, both lawyers. And uh, we were able to communicate, even though she didn't, you know, sh she didn't suffer fools. <laughs> well, I suffer fools. <laughs> she didn't bother about them, you know. <laughs> she made no pretense to. <laughs> and she also had a great support from her state, you know, and they were people who were very powerful. And she had been very close to Lyndon Johnson. The only unfortunate thing is that she didn't get attorney general or a Supreme Court or something like that. But those things, I guess, you know, just passed her by. Was she, of the, of the black women in Congress, was she the one that you felt the closest to? Probably, yes. Was there a sense, uh, how many black women were there by the time you left? By the time I left, Cordes was there. Okay. There was Shirley, right, Cordes, uh -huh. Barbara, and I. Uh, that, that's an interesting foursome. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> can you have four people more different? Can you? Can you imagine no. four people more different? <laughs> no. Um, I'm trying to picture the four of you. You know, to be now. Cordes came with her son. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Cordes and I traveled a lot uh, together. Did you find that that y y people sort of assumed that you w were a unit? I mean, that they no. put you together? No, no, not at all. No. I was from the West. Barbara was from the Southwest. But you, you know. were women in a male-dominated right. environment. And very often that's what happens. Women get marginalized. They get yes. put over on the side or put over in their mm -hmm. section kind of thing. But that didn't happen? In Congress, you know, it's almost regionalized. And uh, Barbara was a person who always felt very close to her caucus and to her state. And she worked with them. And, and she sat with them. Um, I was from California. And uh, obviously, there were people that I was associated with. Cordis also being from a state where it's very strong, she had really had to do a lot of dealings with it within her state. But we all belonged to the Women's Caucus, and we worked in the Women's Caucus, and we worked on various legislation together. And if there was an issue that involved black women, we came together.